this um, picture right here, this was Mike's very first um, triathlon that he did in 92. When I spoke with Michael Coleman's wife and daughter more than a year ago, they were staying hopeful that the hit and run driver who killed him earlier that spring would be caught. There's nothing no. positive that can truly come out of this, but we can get us a, a smidge or a sliver of justice and help kind of close the, the, the tragedy and just kind of put that chapter behind, behind us. us a little bit. Yeah. Michael was riding his bike northbound on Seward Park Avenue South in Seattle on April 11th, 2021, when this silver sedan driving southbound crossed over and hit him head on. A witness says the driver never stopped. Instead, the car accelerated and took off. Michael died at the hospital. For King County Council member Rod Dembowski, his colleague's death was personal. He was, first of all, a talented public servant, and, and second of all, a super nice guy. Michael worked as the deputy director of Boeing Field, King County International Airport, and was a county employee. As the months stretched on with no arrest, Dembowski sponsored an amendment in the budget to offer a $50,000 reward to help Seattle police crack the case and to send a message. If you do this kind of thing, we are gonna track you down, we're gonna chase you down, we're gonna hold you accountable. Dory told me at the time that she was extremely grateful for the added incentive. I'd give anything right now to have him caught. I really would. The increased reward worked. Though detectives had figured out who owned the car, they couldn't find it. Then a tipster contacted Crime Stoppers and police with firsthand knowledge of the crime. That person is a hero, uh, a courageous hero uh, who has brought forth um, the facts that were needed to bring charges against these assailants and to bring justice and some measure of relief to Mike's uh, widow and daughter. Detectives arrested 25-year-old Julian Hamilton in November. King County prosecutors have charged him with hit and run and vehicular homicide. According to court documents, Hamilton had allegedly been drinking in a local park before the crash. Afterwards, police say he got a friend to help him hide the car. 11 months after the hit and run, detectives finally found it in Tacoma. It had damage consistent with the crash and was partially stripped of parts, and police recovered evidence, including a hair in the smashed windshield. Seattle police and Dabowski say the suspect may never have been charged with the crime if not for the help of the tipster. The council member says that person who will remain anonymous is getting the reward. It doesn't bring Michael back, unfortunately, uh, but maybe some measure of justice can be done. And I think uh, offering a significant reward like this sends a message that as uh, governments, we're gonna take these crimes seriously.